Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The is here. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my favorite offense to use in both Madden 25 and College Football 25. This is coming out of my Kansas City Chiefs offensive ebook. So today I'm in Kansas City's book, even though I'm using my Philadelphia Eagles. But you can also find this offense in the Michigan Wolverines offense. But ultimately, I'm in the I form close. This has been one of my favorite formations going back to last year. It's one of the best rushing and passing formations in the entire game. And I'm going to show you guys some run plays and a pass play that can score against just about every single defense in the game. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section because I put out videos like this all the time. And if you need more help or more money plays, you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. Now, I have a lot more plays from my ebook in this offense, but I'm really going to focus on just two. One pass play, which is going to be the PA tight end leak, and one run play, which is going to be the halfback stretch. Now, I don't necessarily want to spend a lot of time on the run play, but let's go ahead and let's pick that, as I just want to show you guys one important tip when it comes to running the ball. You always want to try to find a way to get outside leverage on a play like this. So whether you want to motion this guy out, which a lot of times will help him get to the edge and seal that linebacker on the, on the outside edge of my tight end, or whether you just want to uh, flip the play, a lot of times you can do that as well by flipping the play and then motioning across either this receiver or that tight end. You can see right here, this guy moves out, and this time if I were to hike the ball now, now he's going to do a better job of blocking that guy. So anything, there's any number of tricks you can do to get to the edge in this stretch run. As you can see, we score on the very first play, and I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So this is something that you really just want to make sure that you have a couple of different options. Like I said right here, I, didn't, I don't know if I guess I, I chose 4-3 even, but if I want to motion this tight end across, I can do that. There's a lot of different ways to try to get that outside edge. And to me, that's probably the most important part when it comes to the run play. Now, when it comes to running the ball, if you run the stretch a lot, your opponent might start to spread the defense. So if they do that, the second best run play would just be a simple inside handoff of any kind from this formation. So just keep that in mind. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the PA tight end leak. I'm going to show you guys how to score one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. If you guys want to see actual live gameplay of me using this offense, I have several gameplays out. I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. But today, I'm just going to show you guys in practice mode so I can show you guys a step-by-step step setup for every single defense i'm going to start off with cover two now the setup i'm going to show you guys will work now the setups i'm going to show you guys will work in both madden 25 and college football 25 but if there is a difference i will show you guys that difference in this video so be aware of that but on this first play here if i want to i can work this outside receiver or this inside receiver simply by putting the b receiver on a streak and this will allow for the tight end to get open outside above the cornerback and if he's fast enough or if i get a good enough catch and run i can score as i did show that in the opener of the video but an easier way to do this is going to be to work the X receiver if I custom stand him up 5 to 10 yards just to make sure that he gets over the mid-read because mid-reads in cover 2 in both games are both very good. As you can see, custom stemming that up makes it a little bit easier to get over the top as he does cover very well. I'm going to switch over to College Football 25 for the next defense, but I first want to show how against cover 2 you don't have to adjust the X receiver at all because the mid-reads in this game react way more to the play action. As you can see right here, we split the center much easier without any adjustments. Next up though, I'm going to show cover three. So let's go and let's pick that play again, and we're going to switch over to cover three sky. This play is a natural one play touchdown against cover three, so I wouldn't make any changes. As you can see here, this X receiver, once he crosses the safety here, can be a very easy one play touchdown, just as long as you can buy time in the pocket. We're going to switch over to Madden for the next concept, and we're going to use cover four drop. This play can be a natural one-play touchdown against cover four as well, but you're going to need a lot of extra speed, which the Eagles don't necessarily have. As you can see right here, this receiver can get over the top between the two safeties, but that's kind of difficult. 
as it's a very tight throw. So I find it's best to put the A tight end on a streak and the B receiver on a curl. And now you'll notice that that will hold the cornerback and safety down that side much easier as we get a much more separation this time for a much easier play. In college football, the setup's going to be very different as I'm going to put the A tight end on a streak to pull back the safety. And I can put the B receiver here either on a cornerback or on a corner route or on a, a, a comeback route. But if I don't want to motion him out, I can put him on a corner route and basically custom stamp him down a little bit. I'm also going to custom stamp down the X receiver as I need him to get across the field a little bit faster. And you can see how I have plenty of time to throw the ball as this receiver here will get open once he crosses the safety for another easy one-play touchdown. Next up, I'm going to show you guys cover four match, which is probably one of the easier coverages to beat. Now, this play, if you have a fast enough receiver, will work as is because basically the X receiver is going to get inside the safety. But if you want to guarantee that this play works with any receiver, just motion across the B receiver and put him on a slant. And since he's the inside receiver, this is a matching concept defense, the safety is going to match to the B receiver while the cornerback is going to match to the X receiver. But since the X receiver already has inside leverage, that's going to carry throughout the play as you can see right here all you really have to do is lob it up and run the space and we have another very easy one play touchdown against this defense next up back in Madden, we're going to go over some cover six and cover nine concepts because a lot of people like to use those defenses so we're going to pick cover six and this is another natural one play touchdown when it comes to cover six as long as you're running it from the cover two side as you can see right here there's no safety meeting my receiver once he crosses the field for another easy one play touchdown it works against cover nine the same way because cover nine is basically just cover two flipped against cover nine though we're going to have to go back to the cover four setup where we're going to motion this receiver across and put him on a slant and you're going to notice that it's going to have the exact same effect since half this defense is cover four and half this defense is cover two once this guy crosses the field you can see how he's open for another easy one play touchdown Next, we're going to go back to Madden for some man coverage, just starting off with some man zero blitzes. This can be a natural one-play touchdown to the X receiver since the X receiver starts to play with inside leverage, but I notice that a lot of times the pressure makes it hard to complete the pass. But I find it's better to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field and motion this receiver across. So this route here is a very good corner route. After that, I'm just going to put the X receiver on a slant because I just don't want his defender to be anywhere in the area when I complete this pass. And you can see how this guy gets instant separation for an easy catch and run one-play touchdown down from just about anywhere on the field. Next up, we'll switch back over to college and do cover one hole. So for this play here, I'm just gonna motion across the B receiver and I'm gonna put the X receiver on a post route because I feel that it cuts just a little bit better. After that, we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna block everybody and you can see how the safety cheats over with the motion to the point where he's gonna have to cover a lot more space. And you can see how the post route's just a better angle than the original post route that they give you. And then last but not least, we have cover two man. This is another play where you don't really need any adjustments as you have inside leverage at the start of the play, meaning that the receiver can't get jammed and he'll just split the safeties easily for another easy catch and run one play touchdown to make every single defense in the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see gameplay of me using this offense, like I said, I put that out in previous videos. I have that popping up on screen, so just click the links. And until next time, Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.